morning internet, it is 8.16 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. This is for breakfast today. It is a croissant and this is a salty pastry, I think. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna eat this and then today I'm gonna ride to Montenegro and it's 34 kilometers to the border. And after, um, yeah, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna go. Maybe I'll catch part of the TET again, the Trans Europe Trail. Um, but I'll see, uh, I'll show you on the map later where I am as well. But first breakfast. Already in my bag and I don't want to unpack everything any uh, again. So now I'm actually here in Skoda. And today I'm gonna cross into Montenegro. So this is Montenegro. So it's a very small country. And the plan today is to reach Safnik, which is over here. Um, so then I'm already halfway in Montenegro because it's such a small country. Uh, but let's see uh, how it goes because I'm planning to ride the TED somewhere around here. So that will probably take me uh, quite some time to reach. So uh, let's see how far, uh, how far we get today. Ah, oh, you have finished just this one. Thanks. It was so nice to meet you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, good girl. <laughs> Thank you. I need help? No, it's okay. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Thank you! Have a nice sleep. Thank you so much. Take care. Here, DL the plate. Tablita? Yes, DL ten. Thank you. green card insurance that I bought in Greece but now they said to uh, show the insurance but it was all good so welcome to Montenegro I already saw some really nice mountains and uh, I'm gonna see if I can uh, ride part of the TED so off-road let's go
the Ted kind of starts to become like proper enduro. I think this is a bit too much for my little Basanti and me. So yeah, this is the Ted. Yeah, you can't really see how steep it is, but yeah, look at this. <laughs> uh, this is uh, this is a little bit too much. I think getting up here. That's very tricky. So I think I'll just uh, go back a little bit and see if I can catch the tet uh, later on again. The only question is, how do I turn around? <laughs> now I have to turn around here on this uh, hill with all these rocks. Hmm. Uh, let's see. So I'm uh, gonna try to uh, catch the tet again, somewhere here, but first uh, see if I can have a small break <laughs> here. Oh, it's so extremely hot. It's very hot in the whole of Europe at the moment. And yeah, also here, it's almost unbearable. It's now 11.30. So I bought some uh, water to put in my camel bag and I decided to treat myself with an ice cream. Ah, we're on a holiday. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm just gonna eat that here. And then uh, just a little bit back, there's, uh, there's again the Ted. So I'm gonna try and uh, see if I can find it. And then... Uh, yeah, hopefully it's a bit easier to ride this part. Uh, I'll just see how far I can get. Um, yeah, that other part, it was just, it was just a little bit too much. And if you're with other riders, you can attempt it. But with Pesanti fully loaded by myself, I thought better not. But actually the road here, I mean, this is a bigger road. It's a little bit busy with traffic, but the scenery is just stunning. It's so beautiful. Just riding through this gorge and just with like massive rock faces and this river down in the in the valley or in the gorge. It was really, really beautiful. So it wasn't too bad to ride there, but um, obviously I prefer to ride like small trails and I don't know, smaller roads. So. Um, I'm gonna have my uh, ice cream and then uh, attempt number two for the test. <laughs>
Iris. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> nice car. <laughs> As you can see, I went back to some paved road because it is so extremely hot. I just couldn't ride off-road anymore. I was just absolutely melting. So I thought, let's go back to some paved road, get some wind because <laughs> it's almost unbearable. Anyway, uh, so now it's 50 kilometers to go uh, and it's now quarter to two. So I'll see if I see something on the way uh, to have a lunch. I'll do that. Otherwise, uh, I will see if I can eat something where I'm going to stay tonight. So, uh, <laughs> let's go. I just had to stop and show you this. Look at it. Beautiful, right? But what I don't get is that this entire road is perfect road and I did not see one single car. So yeah, um, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point it's maybe a dead end or it turns off road or something. I don't understand why there's nobody here. But anyway, for me, it's great. It's lovely to ride. Nice curvy roads, I have beautiful views. So yeah, I'll just see uh, if it continues. I think it should. I think in 30 kilometers, I should reach a town where I hopefully can stay the night. But uh, yeah, let's see. is my room pretty nice i even have a balcony let me see see basanti is over there so yeah all good but first things first um they also have a restaurant uh, here attached to the hotel which is excellent news for me um because i am absolutely starving so i'm gonna eat something now so this is for lunch and this is a national dish of montenegro and it's called i have to check um slane pohovane palat 
Cinque. And basically they are salty fried pancakes with ham and cheese. So, looks absolutely delicious. I'm gonna enjoy this. Um, so that was it for today. I'm glad I made it to another new country, Montenegro. Never been here before either. It was a really good ride. Um, yeah, it was a shame I couldn't do more off-roading, but uh, yeah, the first part was just too hard and the second part, it was just too hot. <laughs> but uh, I think all in all, it was a good day and I found some really awesome road, which was paved, but there was nobody there. So it was really nice with beautiful views. So I really enjoyed today. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.